What's going on guys, it's Draman and today we're going to be doing a performance review on the Under Armour Curry 3. Let's get things started with the traction. Under Armour always comes correct with traction in their basketball models, especially with the Steph Curry signature line, but they just took things to a whole other level with the Curry 3. Not only does Under Armour use full length herringbone for the traction pattern, but the rubber compound that they used is extremely tacky and it provided one of the most consistent experiences I've ever had hands down. It didn't matter if the floor I was playing on was totally dirty or perfectly clean. The Curry 3's traction held up in every condition without wiping. And one of my go-to moves is the step back jumper going to my left. And I found myself just doing this move over and over again because the traction is that responsive. So if you're a player who uses quick changes in direction a lot to get around the defense, it's gonna be pretty hard to find a traction setup better than the one that's used here on the Curry 3. Next up is the cushion and Under Armour decided to stick with their guns and use charged foam once again, even though we've been asking them to bring back Micro G. But I will say that this time around, the charged foam in the Curry 3 does feel a little more forgiving. Don't get me wrong, charged foam still provides a low to the ground responsive ride, but I definitely felt a little extra bounce, which is something that was almost non-existent in the Curry 1 and 2. So if you're looking for a ton of impact protection, you're still gonna wanna look somewhere else because the Curry 3 definitely favors guards who are low to the ground and use quickness to their advantage, kinda like Curry himself. But for someone whose favorite cushion setup of all time is Micro G, I have to say, I was pretty pleased with the slight changes Under Armour made with their charge cushioning, but I still prefer the cushion setup that they used in the Clutcher Drive 3, which made use of both charge foam and Micro G. Moving along to the fit, I was actually able to try these on in store and I decided to go down half a size and I'm 100% confident that was the right decision. My true size just felt a little too roomy and considering the fact that that threadborne material doesn't really snap to your foot nicely, eliminating all of that dead space by going down half a size was a pretty smooth move in my opinion. They did feel a little tight straight out of the box, but after playing in the Curry 3 for about 30 minutes or so, the materials did soften up so that tightness in the midfoot basically disappeared. As for the length, it was perfect. My toes were exactly where I wanted them to be with just a little wiggle room in the front area. And my toes didn't slam into the end of the shoe thanks to the fantastic lacing system, which is kind of asymmetrical, but not really. These four eyelets in the collar area really wrap around your ankle nicely to ensure that there isn't any internal slippage. So granted that you get the right size to fit in the Curry 3, it's pretty solid but it could have been so much better. And we're gonna talk about how it could have been better in the material section, because Under Armour made a big deal about their new material Threadborn, which makes its debut here in the Curry 3. And after playing in it for about 50 plus hours, my overall thoughts are, it's not as good as they hyped it up to be. Basically, Threadborn is made out of a paracord material, which is not as soft as a traditional woven material, but not as stiff as a fused material. And it's still pretty lightweight, but the problem is, there just isn't a whole lot of it on the Curry 3. I mean, other than the majority of the toe box and lateral midfoot, the rest of the upper is made out of anafoam, which is fantastic, and fused overlays, which provide durability in high wear areas. The anafoam material that's used on the medial side is great and it softens up to conform around your unique foot shape the more you use it and this is something I really wish Threadborn did because that material didn't really wrap around my foot as nice as I would like it to and it definitely felt like my foot was sitting inside of a shoe as opposed to the shoe feeling like an extension of my foot. Lastly, let's talk about the support and Under Armour advertised the Curry 3 as a model that would provide ultra lightweight support and there's just no other way around it. That's exactly what they provide. Not only does the excellent traction and solid fit do everything to help you stay on your feet, but the two carbon fiber pinions and exaggerated heel cup make sure your foot stays on the foot bed. There's also a carbon fiber midfoot shank for torsional support, as well as a rounded outsole in the heel, which gives you a nice smooth heel to toe transition. If you're a player who uses an ankle brace, the collar area is very forgiving and should accommodate a wide variety of braces, but honestly, I did not feel the 
need for any extra support. And I'm someone who has ligament damage and dislocation in both of my ankles. And I felt totally fine playing in the Curry 3 because there's so many support features. So if you're looking for a shoe that has a lot of support, but doesn't feel heavy or bulky, the Curry 3 is gonna be exactly what you're looking for. At the end of the day, the Curry 3 is a good shoe. It's great in fact, and in any other year, it would be top five, maybe even top three, but 2016 has been absolutely crazy with top tier performers dropping left and right. So the Curry 3 does fall short of getting into that top tier of this year. But like I said, 2016 has been an anomaly. And if you do decide to pick up the Curry 3, I think you'll be pretty happy with how they perform. Anyways, guys, that pretty much takes care of the performance review for the Under Armour Curry 3. If you have any remaining questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you. You can pick up a pair for yourself as well as read the full written review that goes a little bit more in depth with the links you see in the description box below. My name's Jaren, catch you in the next one. Peace. Uh, yeah, Compton. Yo, I, I'm not sure if I could successfully rock this in every neighborhood, if you know what I'm saying. You know, I can't just go out to Richmond and Oakland. I can't go out there and, you know, rock in the Compton socks. I don't think I could get away with that, but